everyone. Welcome back to the AAEN Fabrication Shop. Today we're going to be working on the motor mount for the Olympus payload model. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our centering rings. And while these have been laser cut, you will notice there's little areas where it still attaches to the cart itself. So what we're going to do is we'll take these and cut through those little pads. You'll notice I'm cutting on a cutting mat. Highly recommend that you do that as opposed to cutting directly into your workbench. So we have our three centering rings. As we said before, you're gonna have little notches that kind of stick up, little nubs that stick up. Just take your sandpaper, give it a couple little swipes, and those come right off. Same way on the inside. Run it around a few times and you got a nice clean centering ring. You can also check and make sure that it fits onto the motor mount tube. It should fit on easily. It shouldn't slide real sloppily along the tube. It needs to be a little bit tight. So that gets all three centering rings taken care of. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure everything. The first thing we're going to measure is our little yellow tube. This is our spacing tool. And the directions say we want to do it 3 8 of an inch. What I would recommend is do not measure from the edge of your ruler it may be slightly off. Instead, go to the one inch mark, and now mark three eighths of an inch. And once you have that, you can set that inside here. And we can mark that all the way around. So now we have our spacer tube marked. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark our motor mount tube. According to the instructions, we want to come half inch from the bottom end. So again, we put the edge of the motor mount tube at the one inch mark, and then come up and mark it half inch. And we also want it two inches from the end. So since we've started at the one inch mark, we'll mark it at three inches. Now at this point, what I'll do is I'll rotate it about a quarter turn. Again, I'll line the one inch mark at the end of the body tube, mark it at half inch, and mark it at the two inch mark. Okay, so we now have our motor mount tube marked. The reason for these additional marks is so that when we put the centering rings on, we can line them up and they'll be straight. At this point, we're going to start gluing together the pieces of the motor mount. So we'll take and put some glue on our little pad here. Take 
some glue and run it along the inside of the motor mount. Now put our, our thrust ring inside the tube and we're going to push this in till we get to the line and then pull it out. As you can see we've got a really nice blue line up here at the top. So we'll smooth that out a little bit. Put it on our little holder and now we'll let that dry okay everyone as you can see the glue inside the motor mount has hardened so now we can go back and we can start putting on the centering rings so we'll take the mount off our holder and I've got a small piece of sandpaper here if you notice the paper tube has a little bit of a shine to it and so what I want to do is where the centering rings are going to be at where we're going to glue them I just want to take some of that shine off okay I want to get down to the bare paper and that way our glue joint will be a lot stronger So once we have the pieces sanded down, if you need to, go back, highlight your marks just to make sure you can see them well. Because this is where your, your centering rings are going to be mounted at. And you want these to be square on the tube. So, we'll take cardboard piece, a little bit of glue, and I'm going to start with the ring at the very top. I'm simply going to put some glue around the top of the ring. spread evenly and then we'll take our first ring and it on the edge here. You want just in this case you want just a slight lip showing on the other end. Okay, very much like it shows on the instruction sheet don't want it exactly flush you just want a little bit of an edge okay do the same thing now with the middle ring take our final ring and bring it right up to the lines. And take our finger, make a nice little fillet. Once we get, once these three fillets dry, we'll flip it over, do the other side, and once those fillets dry, that finishes the motor mount assembly. 
Okay, as you can see, we've got our motor mount done. We've got some really nice fillets on the top and bottom of each ring. It gives us good strong joints. So this thing's ready to be mounted inside the rocket. In our next episode, we'll get started on putting our fins together, sanding them, gluing them, getting them ready for mounting onto the rocket. So until next time, take care.